hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video i hope everyone is staying safe in the midst of all this pandemic and everyone is taking good care of themselves in this tutorial video we're going to focus on the second part of correction of errors that is specifically processing an rd check so remember that in the previous video we were focusing on the correction of errors but we were focusing on correcting a payment misallocation if you missed that particular video you can just click on it on that particular um card displayed so um in this video as i've already uh, notified we will specifically focus on processing an rd check so we're going to use the same information as the past um, video where we're correcting a payment misallocation so on that video you'll remember that we we're recording a payment from a customer specifically albot limited this is the customer that we're processing a payment from albot limited and then we'll assume in this video that you get notified by the bank that the bank of albert limited just uh, returned that particular check that was given by albert limited on it it was written return to draw so we are now going to reverse that particular check so what you're going to do is that you need to go to process cash book Then when you get to process cash book you will go to the receipt side because uh, the original entry was made in the receipt side then you need to go to the receipt side and when you get to receipt side you need to use the same references the same entry types and the same numbering that were used in the original entry remembering that uh pastel add items with the same same reference together so when you insert the reference that were inserted in the original entry pastel will add this new entry with the original entry so what you're going to do is that we're just going to process the same entry our customer and then on the account we need to select the relevant customer which is albert limited then when you get to reference you will remember that uh, from the previous video where we were recording the payment from this particular customer the, the reference was dep004 so you need to use the same reference which is DEP004 and then when you get to description you're just going to record uh, you're just going to uh, type check returned by the bank then you'll remember that the bank amount was 200 rands that was the payment that was received from albert limited and then now you just need to insert a minus sign in front of this bank amount because when you were recording the payment from this customer the amount was positive so in order to reverse that particular entry you need to put a minus sign just in front of that amount so the baseline is that um you need to go to receipt the, the 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 cash book receipt side and use the same entry types that you used for the original entry you're going to use the same references you're going to use the same amount but 
you're going to insert a minus sign just in front of that amount so that when pastel adds those two entries together the uh it will result in a, a nil balance then after doing that you're just going to update the receipts page then you're just going to update your page right there and then when it's done i'm just going to close this cache book and i'm just going to open my explorer then when you get to ex your explorer you will now notice that the balance of albert limited changes from um, 16,000 to 17,000 because you just reversed um, an entry a cash book entry from this particular custom then that concludes our tutorial video for today